Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to today's episode of The Snack Break. My name is Monique, aka The Eat This Bitch, and today, Pepperidge Farm. We're back on the farm, guys. Uh, they have some new cookies, and while I'm still hoping and praying that they bring back those Earl Grey Milanos, we're gonna see if these scratch the itch. We've got the Pepperidge Farm Charleston birthday cake cookies and the Pepperidge Farm lemon sugar ojai cookies. Uh, as I had said in the trailer, I do not know why um, all these cookies, like they're kind of um, like the round traditional cookies that they do, why they're all named after places. I'm sure that's something I could look up, but I figured that maybe one of you weirdos would know. <laughs> so if you know, or at least have like a fun guess, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I don't usually like uh, the Chesapeake, this Chesapeake situation, um, the Chesapeake, Cecil Sausalito, like all of those, those never really scratch my itch for cookies. Um, I think those are usually like more of the crispy cookies and I like a more soft, chewy situation. So I'm hoping that these kind of take the cake. And speaking of cake, we're gonna do the Charleston one first. Uh, it's actually almost my birthday, so I feel like it's very fitting to start with this. Birthday cake flavor things can be very hit or miss. They can either be too sweet or too chalky. Um, not sure what we're gonna get here. This smells very, very sweet, very vanilla-y, but like that kind of fake vanilla taste. Kind of smells like a, a confetti, uh, confetti cake or funfetti situation. So here's the cookie right here. Looks very standard the mill, run of the mill, like soft baked sugar cookie. You can see that there's some like white chips in there. I don't know whether those are white chocolate or like that kind of like waxy white coating that sometimes it gets used. I'm gonna figure that it's not like real, it's not like white chocolate or anything, you know. But it just kind of smells like that stereotypical like vanilla cake, almost like frosting-y sweetness, which like I said, I, I don't mind, but sometimes it can be a little much. Hopefully these will be good. So actually before I take the milk, we're gonna lactate it up because there is milk all over these. You know what? I'm actually going to break this open just to see kind of the texture on the inside. So very, very soft there. There's probably some sort of like palm oil situation in there that's gonna keep that nice and soft and chewy. Cause this apartment's been very warm. So I thought this would be kind of gooey and gross, but I'm impressed at how well it's uh, held up. Okay, the birthday cake cookie. The softness in it kind of reminds me of like, kind of like a raw cookie dough. Okay, that was a piece with one of the chips. When you get a piece with one of the white chips, it adds like a richness to it that makes it taste better than bites without it, if you see what I mean. Like these have enough fat in them that kind of coat your mouth and give you a little bit extra than if you're just eating the cookie alone. I feel like if you're just eating it alone, it's soft yet dry. I don't understand how a soft baked cookie could be this dry. <laughs> but when you get pieces with the chips, you do get a bit of a softness. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> Nothing to write home about. A 
that's not disgusting by any means. You want to dunk it? Mm -hmm. I wonder. Mm -hmm. I feel like that might not make it more exciting, but. The milk does not absorb at all. <laughs> Nothing is absorbed. At least when you eat like an Oreo, the cookie kind of sucks up the milk. This milk is just hanging. It is a hanging like fucking Sylvester Stallone and Cliffhanger. It is just like hanging from the cookie. It's no, <laughs> there's no sort of like, ooh, it's going to get all soft and nice. Yeah, even after letting it just hang on the cookie, the cookie does not absorb the milk at all. This is not a dunking cookie. Okay, let's move it right along to the Ojai Lemon Sugars. Jesus. Oh, at least you know these cookies are fresh. I'm getting into these. Woo, there we go. Oh, very big lemon uh, set coming out of here. Ooh, it's nice though. It's nice and bright. So this kind of looks, you know what? This actually kind of looks like a snickerdoodle cookie. It's still like, it looks like your normal sugar cookie, but it's got some sugar on top. I'm sure that's gonna add a nice little crunch. Nice even bake on the bottom. I'm gonna break this one open too, just so that we kind of get an idea of how it looks like on the inside. Oh, wow. That's really nice. I actually really like the lemon scent that's coming off of here. It smells like lemon. It doesn't smell like uh, like dish cleaner. It smells real. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's try this lemon sugar cookie. Not bad. I do like the sanding sugar crunch on top. I think that's really nice. Let's see how it dumps. Maybe I'm just not letting the cookie soak long enough, but like, again, no sort of milk absorption or softening. The crumb is so tight, it's just not really absorbing anything. I mean, I know this is oat milk, but I feel like there still should be something like that happening. As strong as the lemon scent is, the lemon taste is mild. It's not super assertive. I love lemony stuff and I want it to be powerful. I want that to have that really nice lemon taste, like a zestiness along with the aroma. I feel like this just tastes like lemon extract and probably no real lemon zest in there. I did taste the brown sugariness, which is why I was thinking of kind of like a snickerdoodle. But uh, yeah, it says lemon contains 2% or less of lemon oil and natural flavors. Yeah, no. Um, lemon oil and the zestiness that you get from fresh lemon zest, I don't think you can really compare the taste. So look, if you want something sweet, you just want to go to the market and get something. You don't have time to bake a cookie or you don't have like a nice little bakery that you can go to to get some lemon cookies or whatever. These are fine. They're fine. They're fine. If you actually want these real things to taste like real things, I, you know, you can make them at home. But if you see these in the market, I don't really think you need to get them. They are just eyed, okay? Just, they're fine. So Pepperidge Farm, when are you bringing back the Earl Grey Milanos? Those were a real problem for me, and I'd like them to be a problem for me again, all right? 
Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of The Snack Break. Uh, ring the little bell, subscribe so you can see when new episodes are coming. Don't forget to leave me a little uh, comment down there. I love seeing the comments that you guys add. Um, they really make my day. So please take some time and write one, please. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Eat Miss Bitch. Uh, also at TikTok at the same name. I am barely, barely on Twitter and I am this close to finally deleting my account and being free of the, uh, the madness <laughs> that is Twitter slash X. Uh, so you can follow me on those other things. Also, I have a website, theeatinthisbitch.com. I post things on there on occasion. You should go pay it a visit. Um, and we'll see you next time on The Snack Break.